Hello, you beautiful people. I hope you all are having an amazing, beautiful day. First thing I want to say is before the video starts and before we take a look at the build, you will see that I have 111 recovery instead of 100. I forgot to move the recovery mod to something else. With this build, I do run 100 recovery and 100 discipline, but that recovery mod was supposed to be either in resilience or mobility. So keep that in mind and don't let that confuse you. I gotta say, I've been having tons of fun with this build. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If so, a like and the sub really does help me out guys and i want to thank you once again for all the amazing support i appreciate every single one of you i hope you all enjoy this one and as always have a crazy beautiful day and in this video we're gonna talk about this beauty right here trinity ghoul i got the catalyst for it which by the way is one of the most beautiful things i've seen in this game in a long long time let me tell you that much and in this build i want to show you how i try to build all of this around this one beautiful weapon so first let's go ahead and take a look at the weapons right of course we're going to be using trinity ghoul with the catalyst and the catalyst just makes it extremely good lightning rod now triggers from any arc damage final blow that means that you can chain this perk over and over and over and just be destructive in pve but it also gets triggered when you use arc abilities as long as you have this weapon out you throw a grenade get a kill it will activate the lightning rod right away which is amazing that's why we're going to be using the arc subclass and i'm going to be using the arc bolt grenades now in order to keep my grenades up most of the time i'm going to be running 100 discipline and then on top of that i'm going to be using a shotgun in this case perfect paradox with the demolitionist now this one also has trench barrel or one two punch and i just like to swap in between the two just you know whatever i feel like sometimes i want to have fun with trench barrel or sometimes i just want to use one two punch and as we go over the build you will understand why i switched to one two punch because it works perfectly with the exotic that we're using also so keep in mind if you also enjoy one two punch a really good option is heavy hitting shotguns but i'm just using perfect paradox right now because i love how this weapon feels and i missed it that's why i'm going to be using this one i do have a trial shotgun with one two punch so i can always swap to that one so pretty much for ad clearing we have trinity ghoul just destroying and annihilating everything if we get close to some knights or whatever we have a shotgun now let's take a look at the heavy right here and this is the new sword the temptations hook this one comes with relentless strikes and warpal weapon which is really really good i love warpal weapon on this sword it absolutely annihilates bosses okay it does tons of damage and it is extremely fun but there's one reason i like to use it with trinity ghoul and the reason is this sword is a caster which means that it can shoot arc projectiles at your enemies right and the great thing is as long as you shoot the arc projectile swap back to trinity ghoul you will activate the lightning rod we can activate it with the grenades we can activate it with the sword and i'm going to show you that of course in a second here overall we're just going to build all of this around this bow right here as you can see no perk is active right now i'm going to swap to my sword wait for the charge and look at that beauty right there perk is active it is very simple to do let's do that again activated once again very simple to do and it's just amazing and the reason i love using this is when i have targets that have a lot of hp the sword absolutely melts them and i can swap to my bow right away and have my perk ready to go now you beautiful people I'm going to show you why this build is not only good for just clearing insane amount of ads or killing knights, but ladies and gents, it can absolutely melt bosses. First, let's start with the chest piece because this is where we're going to have the taking charge. By the way, for people that don't know, this mod comes from the season of dawn so what is taking charge it is the mod that helps you become charged with light as long as you pick up orbs of light you will be charged with light which is very very easy to do when you're using trinity ghoul because as long as you're getting those kills and multi kills you will be creating orbs you can run up to them pick them up you can become charged with light now why do we want to be charged with light right let's take a look at the boots and keep in mind we also have sword reserve on the chest piece okay but on the boots we're gonna be running a sword scavenger a discipline mod and then high energy fire while charged with light gain a bonus to weapon damage each defeated combatant consumes one stack of charged with light so 
not only is this good to do more damage with trinity ghoul your shotgun whatever it is but it is also amazing for boss damage phases when you're using your sword and the reason for that is the perk itself it says that it only takes and consumes one stack of charge of light when a combatant is defeated however if you're dpsing a boss when you're fully charged with light it doesn't count as defeating an opponent until he's dead which means that you'll be doing full damage with all the buffs all the way until he's down and then on the class item we're going to be using the new mod lucent blade i got this mod at the drifter in the daily rotation so make sure to pay attention and grab this one and it also has replenishing guard if you activate another arc mod on the same armor piece so let's take a look at this mod right here while charged with light Dealing damage with a sword gives you bonus sword damage for 5 seconds, consuming 1 stack of charge with light. And then we also have greatly increases the charge rate for your equipped swords, which means that you can be shooting those casts very, very often and way much faster on your sword. And of course, we're going to take a look at that also. Let's go ahead and take off this mod. Take a look at the charge time, right? Here. And it's charged, but we can get this back way faster. Now I'm going to put the mod back on and you'll see the difference. Okay, let's do that again. And look at that. That's way faster, guys. As you guys can see, we can do a lot of damage if we're charged with light with our swords, with our other weapons, but we can take this even further. There's one more mod you can add, and that is called Supercharged, which gives you another two charges of light, which means that we can have a total of four charges of light. And guys, when you're fully charged with light, the amount of damage these swords can do is just literally insane so everything in this build guys is trying to be built around trinity ghoul but also we have some insane boss damage and we have the ability to absolutely destroy normal yellow bars or champions and there's one more thing we're gonna be using liar's handshake now this one is really really fun cross counter regenerates health and deals extra damage so not only does this add extra survivability to our build but it also does crazy amounts of damage using your arc melee ability or being hit by a melee attack will allow you to follow up with an extremely powerful melee counter punch that will heal you and remember the liar's handshake exotic is perfect for one to punch hitting an enemy with every pellet in a shot increases melee damage for a short duration and even with all the changes they made to one to punch it still does a lot of damage in combination with liar's handshake and it works perfectly with the whole setup because we're going to be really close and guys who doesn't want to punch hive and fallen and cabal right in the face huh okay i'm pretty sure we went over everything if you guys have any questions about this build drop them in the comment section i will be more than happy to answer you guys you guys know i always try to answer as many of you as possible to be honest it's a lot of fun to communicate with you all so make sure to drop those questions if you have any also let me know what builds are you enjoying in this season and ladies and gents there is one more pve build that i'm working on right now and i gotta say it's been tons of fun i'm working on the video it will be ready soon and of course there are more pvp builds and amazing pvp gameplays on the way so make sure to like and subscribe don't forget that bell notification button so you don't miss all the beautiful content that is on the way now i'm gonna let some gameplay roll of the new public event and you will see how beautiful this setup is and yeah see you soon guys